Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Earlier this year, we announced the general availability of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service for Oracle databases on on-premises, on OCI databases such as bare metal, virtual machines, and Exit Data Cloud Service, which are catering to databases in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. We are excited to announce that Database Management Service now supports monitoring of Oracle Autonomous Databases that are deployed in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Here is a short video that covers the monitoring capabilities in the Database Management Service for Oracle Autonomous Databases. For monitoring Oracle Autonomous Databases, you can monitor them as a fleet, wherein on the fleet summary page, you can monitor multiple Oracle databases which includes Autonomous Database, Exadata Cloud, Database Cloud Service in the form of Virtual Machines or Bare Metal, and also on-premises databases. So this gives you a single pane of view to monitor your databases, whether they are deployed in Oracle Cloud or on-premises. And from the fleet summary page, you can drill down to a specific Autonomous Database of interest to monitor them closely by looking at various metrics like average active sessions, CPU utilization, storage usage, number of queued and running SQL statements, etc. And from there, if required, you can drill down further to launch Performance Hub to do deep diagnostics. With that, let me get into a short demo to demonstrate how do we enable database management for autonomous databases, and then look at the fleet and the database summary page for a single autonomous database. All right, I'm now in the autonomous database page, wherein I'm in the DB management compartment filtered by the workload type data warehouse. I have a database named as CRMDW. Let me go to the CRMDW database. And within the general information section, I could see that I have associated services, which could be either database management or operations insights. I would like to enable database management on this database. So I can click on enable, and this gives us a pop-up to give details about what the service is all about. You can enable fleet summary and database dashboard at an additional cost. And if you want to enable database management for this database, you just click on enable. This launches a workflow to enable database management. It takes a while. We can now see that enabling process is succeeded and we now have the database management in an enabled state. We could now go to the fleet management sections within the database management service and look at our database, which is the autonomous database along with other databases, which could be either on-prem or cloud databases. All right, I'm now in the database management fleet summary page. We could now see that the CRM DW database is a member and you could monitor them as a fleet. Along with that, you would also see a couple of external databases, which are databases that are deployed in on-premises. And also you would see any cloud databases if that were enabled in your fleet. If I were to drill down to a database of my interest, I could click on any of these databases. In this case, I'm interested in understanding more about the CRM DW which is an autonomous data warehouse in a shared deployment model. So I can click on the CRM DW and that takes me to the summary page wherein I could see that a lot has happened. And in the last 60 minutes period, I would see the CPU utilization, the average activity, and also the storage used SQL statements. And if there are any failed connections, I would be able to see them as well. Now here, I would see that a lot of SQL statements uh, got completed. And if there are any kind of uh, CPU related issues or any kind of weight related issues, I would be able to see them here. And if there is anything that is needed beyond this, and if I were to drill down, I could launch Performance Hub and look at the performance characteristics of this database. And here I could see that a lot has happened. And if I were to actually use a time slider, I can drill down and see what has happened within the database. This concludes this video, wherein we looked at monitoring autonomous databases in the context of database management service.